Good evening, and welcome to Vespers with the Psalms. Before we begin, I want to invite you to center yourself and focus on your breathing. As you continue to control your breathing, listen to this beautiful rendition of the doxology. With those words in our ears, on our lips, in our minds, and in our hearts, let's read this invocation together. Please respond by reading aloud the words of the response. Though evening has come, our praises carry on through the night. As the sunlight departs, open the eyes of our heart that see without light. Fine tune our praises as darkness falls, that your name will be on our lips even as we rest. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Each week we will have a theme song that highlights our psalm category for the week. This week our theme is Psalms of Thanksgiving and our hymn of the week Thank you, Lord. Our scripture reading for tonight's Vespers is Psalm 118. As you continue to be at rest, listen and reflect on God's word. Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. 
Let the house of Aaron say, His love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. When hard-pressed, I cried to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surround me, but in the name of the Lord I cut them down. They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord I cut them down. They swarmed around me like bees, but they were consumed as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord I cut them down. I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die but live, and will proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks, for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine on us. With bows in hand, join in the festival of procession, up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Take a moment now and reflect on this psalm of thanksgiving. Thank God for a specific blessing you have received, or take time to proclaim your own song of thanksgiving. In a few moments, we'll return to hear the refrain of the psalm one more time and speak together our benediction as we conclude. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. And now, as we close this day with our benediction, please respond by reading aloud the words of the response. And now, as you end this day with hearts and thoughts on God, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Lord, we receive your blessing, not only in the light, but also as we take our rest in the dark. Turn your face toward us and grant us peace as we rest in you. And now, as we are bold to say, Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen.